Yuma County Library District presents Vintage Yuma Valentines. The Feast of St. Valentine was established by Pope Galatius I in AD 496 to be celebrated on February 14th in honor of St. Valentine of Rome, who was executed on that date in AD 269. The day became associated with romantic love in the 14th and 15th centuries when notions of courtly love flourished, apparently by association with the lovebirds of early spring. It wasn't until 18th century England that the Feast of St. Valentine became an occasion for couples to express their love by presenting flowers, confectionery, and sending greeting cards known as Valentines. Valentine's Day cards were first mass produced in the 1840s and were made of paper lace. This early example of a quirky Victorian Valentine is made with the traditional white lace paper with the addition of a dead canary. Popularized in the Victorian era were vinegar or comic valentines like this one. Pride will have a fall. You're as vulgar a cat as I'd wish to meet, and yet you're devoured by pride and conceit. But I fancy before very long you'll find out that everyone thinks you an ignorant lout. These vinegar or comic cards were sent to, usually anonymously, to insult the recipient and make them feel badly, not unlike the internet trolling today. Valentine's Day comes next. You can then get even with the party who sent you a comic last year. Yuma's Arizona Sentinel encouraged people to get their own comic Valentines in 1899 to get revenge on those who had sent them the year before. Valentine's cards were sold in Yuma stores in 1911, such as MS Darlings on 2nd Street. And in 1921, Valentine's cards were sold at J. Homer Smith's store. Let's take a look at the vintage Valentine's Day cards that are a part of the Yuma County Library District's ephemera collection, located in the archives at the Heritage Branch. I sitting here so solemn, as lonesome fru and fru. I want a little sweetheart. Say, don't you want one too? Don't say you do not love me, for no one else will do. This one was a valentine made by a, a girl for her brother. It says, there's nobody like my brother. This here is a good example on the top of lace paper. This one wouldn't be appropriate for today, but back about 50 years or so ago, be my valentine Hands up, hands up, don't cry or start. I merely want to steal your heart. So, not a politically correct Valentine's Day card for this day and age.
a valentine for my chum. You're a mighty nice friend and a peach of a chum, and I hope all your joys are as nice as they come. Signed, Slim. I don't know if the recipient would be glad to be called a friend, but a little closer inspection finds a secret love note tucked inside where he says, Oh, dearest one that I adore, you're in my mind forevermore. And last night as the breezes blew, I thought the whole night through from Slim. So maybe he was a secret admirer or he didn't want the young lady's parents to know that he fancied her. 